everyone. And once again, thank you so much to our speakers for processing their experiences and of course, bringing them to us in the form of fresh insights we can get inspired by and also apply in our own industries. Ladies and gentlemen, to recognize them for their work as young marketing rock stars, we will now proceed with the awarding ceremonies. This is the 16th Mansmith Young Market Master Awards. To begin, we have some messages from our esteemed panel of judges. The opportunity of being one of the judges of YMMA this year is truly a great experience for me. Not only because I was myself a YMMA awardee over 10 years ago, but also because going through the files of all the candidates has also in a way inspired me seeing that our country has a lot of young, great talents and high achievers. I am looking forward that awards like this would inspire more young marketers and entrepreneurs to step up forward in making our world a far better place in the future than it is now. A message of congratulations to all the winners. You all dared to win and you all dared to dream. So when others were contented, you work harder. When others gave up, you reach higher. And this milestone now proves it. All of you are one of uh, life's inspiring characters in this game of marketing. So I take great pride in being able to share this special moment with all of you. I am so excited about what you have accomplished. And I'm going to be rooting for you in your next big win. And I look forward to watching you thrive. And the best part of your success is really this, that you should continue to inspire others. You have what it takes to go on with your marketing journey. Hi, this is Flor Tariela, and I'm very happy to be a part of the Board of Judges for the Man Smith selection this year. Congratulations to all the winners. Everything that you've done were all very impressive, and especially because of the challenging times in this pandemic. More power to all of you. You are the future of our country. Keep on innovating, keep on producing. Congratulations. We are pleased to present to you once again the 16th Mansmith Young Market Masters Awards. Congratulations, Mark Alvarez, YMMA Awardee, for inciting. For the longest time, the Philippines has been primarily a highly face-to-face -face or offline market. And this is equally true for the market research and consumer insight industry. The changing times, especially now in the time of Corona, has triggered a rapid evolution of consumer behavior towards digital. And this called for a more innovative and inclusive approach to insighting. That's the reason why I was determined to set up Insights Consulting in the Philippines to pioneer and champion digital research in a transitioning market. This means cutting through the clutter, introducing research users to new ways of collaboration with the use of our digital-first proposition, replicating offline interactions with customers online, and by building branded insight communities that enable organizations to engage and co-create new products, solutions, and experiences directly with their customers to shape a more sustainable future. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Alvarez, YMMA Awardee for Insighting. Uh, so, firstly, I, I'd like to thank uh, Man Smith for this timely recognition, uh, to my Insights Consulting family for the trust, the passion, and determination to disrupt the industry. Uh, of course, to my family, my wife Gladys, and kids Tommy and Gia, who've been my inspiration and God. 
as my source of strength and determination to carry forward. Um, this recognition uh, serves as a testament that our market research and consumer insights industry, not only in the Philippines, but the whole of Asia as well, is embracing the shift towards innovative ways of doing research. And this really demonstrates the readiness and the openness of Asia to go fully digital uh, in building consumer collaboration, empowering people to shape this you know, more, more sustainable future of brands. And, and given the pandemic and digital world we all live in now, I believe that all of us, you know, especially marketers, must embody three critical characteristics, you know, being bold, agile, and excited. You know. Let's be bold to take risks and try new ways of engaging brands and consumers. Um, free your mind from that it has always been done this way mentality and rather explore and innovate. Be agile in how you respond to the rapidly evolving needs of your uh, clients and ultimately your customers. Uh, being mindful of the transition from face-to-face -to, -face to digital. And third, be excited. Always show, your, show off your passion and enthusiasm with fellow marketers and infect them with the positivity to look forward to what lies ahead uh, in this new age of digital disruption and collaboration. And at the core of it all, always remember that it's all about the customer. We are here because we want to listen empower and elevate the human experience and let your customers be your North Star no, and sail towards that direction. And I leave you with this quote now from the global CEO of Coca-Cola. At a time when the human spirit is being tested like never before, especially now in the pandemic, we wanted to showcase the reasons to believe. Let relevance speak uh, and be your anchor as you move forward. Maraming salamat po. Congratulations, Mark, and thank you for that inspiring speech. Our next awardee is Ms. Camille Ang, Young Market Masters Awardee for Marketing Management. Sari is a company that caters to Sari Sari store owners. And in the past year, given the pandemic, we had to pivot our business model from an agent-dependent way to acquire and retain users to a digital-first model. To do this, we really had to truly understand the store owner's pain points and motivations during this time. One, they want to continue to run their store to support their family during this difficult time. Two, they also want to be able to serve their community in terms of their day-to-day -day needs. Three, they are afraid to go out to crowded places like the supermarket or talk to many different agents for fear of exposure to COVID. And four, they are still new to the digital space and quite unfamiliar and iffy with buying things online. So with what we knew, we came up with an end-to-end -end digital first model that leverages what Filipinos are familiar with, Facebook, to drive awareness and top of funnel, supported by the right in-app experience, as well as deploying call center or field agents when necessary should they need additional support. This has allowed us to set up a cost-efficient and scalable way to acquire Sari Sari store owners digitally, growing five times in weekly new users, and setting up a cost per lead that is 30% of what we started off early this year. Ladies and gentlemen, Camille Ang, Young Market Masters Awardee for Marketing Management. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I just want to thank Josiah, Cheeky, the esteemed panel of judges, and the rest of the Mansmith Committee for this award, as well as for creating such an incredible event these past two days. All the recognition I've received is really not my own, but it's thanks to the amazing people I've surrounded myself with that have allowed me to get to where I am today. To my loved ones, family, and friends, thank you for your love and support in both words and day-to-day -day actions. Because I have my conscience in life, I'm unafraid to spread my wings and fly. To my Mai Panzalan, thank you for encouraging me to apply for this award. It was really your strong belief in me and my abilities that has been a key driving force in both my professional and personal life. You have not just been a good manager, but a great friend and mentor. To my growth and marketing team, I'm amazed by what you've built together these past year. None of that would have been possible without you guys, and I could not have asked for a better team. To the leadership team and the rest of the Grow Sari family, I love the collective passion we had um, for our Sari Sari store owners and the impact we wanted to make for them, as well as how fun it was in the process, making me excited and inspired to come to work every single day. 
And of course, thank you to our Tinderas and Tinderos for being our partner these past couple of years, and even more so during this pandemic. When I look through Facebook groups, I'm always amazed by how resilient and encouraging this community has been within themselves and with each other, despite the challenges. When I see this, I get even more inspired to figure out how we can make their experience with us the best they can be, because they deserve it. And that leads me to one of the most important things I've realized in my journey. Customer obsession is incredibly important, not just for marketers, but for whatever role you're in. Apart from understanding their behavior through the data available, it's really about listening to their voice, whether it be through the feedback they get from tickets, comments, or calls, that will be a game changer to constantly improving their experience. Because at the end of the day, what we're building is for them, and our success would not be possible without theirs. Again, I'm truly grateful for this opportunity and congratulations to the rest of the awardees as well. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Camille. Thank you so much for this speech. Ladies and gentlemen, our next awardee, Mar Corazzo, Young Market Masters Awardee for Digital Marketing. Working in the global team for Unilever here in the Netherlands. As a young Filipino marketeer, I believe I was able to lead change and innovation by firstly making digital not just a secondary touch point to TV, but a pillar to influence awareness and purchase. And secondly, developing purpose driven content instead of solely talking about our products so that we can help people eat for good, and that is eating in a way that's better for them and for the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Arazzo, Young Market Masters Awardee for Digital Marketing. Thanks, everyone. And first of all, I'd like to thank the Man Smith Committee and our panel of judges for this opportunity to inspire young Filipinos. Uh, this is truly special for me because I remember when I was just, um, when I started working a few years ago, um, when I was in the awarding ceremony of my ex boss and mentor. Neil Trinidad um, for his YMMA award. Um, I was there in the audience telling myself how great it would be to receive that prestigious award. Um, so I'm beyond honored to now be a YMMA recipient myself. And I hope that this award inspires young marketeers to continue building meaningful brand and also showcases the diverse Filipino talents um, around the world, especially since I'm, I'm outside the Philippines. And I'd like to thank this opportunity, to take this opportunity also to uh, thank my Global Knorr team and to our awesome agency partners. And I'm immensely proud to be working on Unilever's biggest food brand and to be recognized for creating business and societal impact from our team's work the, uh, this past few years. And if there's one lesson that I want to impart to everyone, having worked on different categories and products from deodorants to skincare to food, it's that doing good makes good business and good business is about doing good. So thank you once again for this award. Congratulations, Mar. Okay, guys, our next awardee, Marie Cez or Patet de Guzman, Young Market Masters Awardee for Digital Marketing. Leading change is never easy because it always comes with resistance. In my case, I had to fully migrate over 20 of our brands to going from a low digital spend to actually 100% digital, especially when the pandemic hit. So to lead this, I focused on two things. First was to balance the comfortable and the uncomfortable. I knew going fully digital would only be embraced if the brands understood the need for it and wanted it to for themselves, rather than me or other people simply pushing it. So it took a lot of listening and educating through trainings. And more importantly, I believe it was also the trust I've built with the brands I've been working with for the last six years. Still continued some initiatives in offline marketing that were already comfortable and familiar with them. 
and then slowly would introduce a digital effort, something that they were uncomfortable with at the start, but ultimately, they saw it that it complemented their offline marketing initiatives. And second, we moved forward with results. We measured everything we did. The results spoke for themselves, and so after every review, post-mortem reports, more resources would be allocated to digital and until such time that the uncomfortable initiatives, of course, became comfortable with brands and management, and they grew confident on how we spent their investments. Ladies and gentlemen, Patet de Guzman, Young Market Masters Awardee for Digital Marketing. Okay. So I've always wanted to be in marketing because I always thought that it would be such an interesting and creative way to make a difference. And to be recognized by Mansmith for this dream I continue to achieve assures me that I'm on the right path. So to all the young marketers out there, keep achieving your dreams, don't be afraid to make mistakes, and keep learning. So thank you, Mansmith. Josiah and Chiki and the panel of judges, to Primer Group, Board of Directors, my mentors, Albert Budahe and Tracy Montanola, Dina Yaulim and Joy Austria, my MSC team, RJ, Primer Group, Performance Marketing and Airworks team. So this is a testament of our hard work and what we've all accomplished over the last couple of years, and you should be proud as well as we all share this award. My dad, sisters, and my family and my friends, my husband, Erwin, so half the time you think all I do is shopping in Primer and I keep just sending you links on um, our sales and our stores. But now I hope you know what exactly I do. Um, thank you for your support. Congratulations, Patet. Okay, guys, moving on to our next awardee, Ms. T. Enriquez, Young Market Masters Awardee for Digital Business Building. While having the right support and investing in data and technology are important, I personally believe that what is critical when it comes to leading change and innovation has to do with people, because people are what make up a company or organization, which is why focusing on building culture as well as creating processes that match the culture were two things that I focused on. Processes helped us not only put some guidance and structure when it came to how we would approach a particular change or innovation, it also helped us enter into a habit building state. And habit formation for me is very important if you want to look at success in the long term. Now, as for culture, we looked at employees beyond skill sets. This is where shared values, ambitions, motivations of people you hire come in and make sure that they match what the company stands for. And for me, I looked at two primary mindsets. The first mindset is the builder mindset. This means that people who are in constant search and who thrive in building and tinkering and experimenting and learning. The second mindset is having a data-driven mindset, making sure that data and technology play a very important role in everything that we do. Ladies and gentlemen, Kay Enriquez, Young Market Masters Awardee for Digital Business Building. Thank you, Danny. So first of all, I'd like to congratulate again all my fellow awardees. Um, we learned a lot of insights and learnings from today and as well as yesterday. Thank you as well, Joe, Chiki, um, our esteemed judges, and the rest of the Man Smith team for this particular opportunity. It's been a great pleasure and honor to be among the awardees. I'd also, of course, like to thank my parents, my family, who have made it a habit to make sure that learned concepts were translated into action at an early stage. This has been helping me and a strong foundation for me in my career. To key people who have been a big influence and mentors throughout my career, uh, Sir Ed Mappa, who has provided guidance and inspiration to keep pushing me and breaking the boundaries, always looking and questioning things from a different lens and light. To other mentors like Jonathan Hosson, uh, Mother Hermie de Leon, Vishnu Mohan, and others who have helped pave the way, I appreciate the nuggets of wisdom you have shared. To colleagues and clients that I've worked with over the years who have always kept me on my toes and who have continued to keep me grounded. Um, to my partner who has pushed me to challenge myself, I appreciate all the efforts. And of course, to our CBR family, this award is for you guys as we continue to transform and poise ourselves for bigger growth and expansion. May we continue to show the industry what we are capable of doing. As for my advice to young marketers, continue to be curious, continue to challenge yourself, 
and be passionate about it. Don't stop experimenting. Enter that test and learn state of your life. It is in loving what you do that will make all the difference. And as our chairman has recently put it, and what I'd like to share with all of you is that skills can be taught. It thinks you can learn, but it's the character, the attitude, and passion that will make the difference. Thank you. Congratulations once again, Katie. And our next awardee is Gian Louis Yap, Man Smith Young Market Masters Awardee for Brand Management. As someone privileged to work for a brand like Safeguard, I was able to help the brand by first modernizing its communication to be relevant to today's generation. As a brand that has been in the country for close to 60 years, I was able to help unearth insights and moments in the everyday Filipino's life that speak to the younger generation. Second, I also launched products like Hansu that irresistibly delight the Filipino consumer. And finally, I was able to help strengthen the brand's relationship with relevant organizations such as the Department of Health as a nation's top health partner. With these three things, Safeguard continues to be a force for good and a force for growth for the country. Ladies and gentlemen, Gian Louis Yap, Mansmith Young Market Masters Awardee for Brand Management. Thank you. So again, uh, thanks to the Mansmith Young Market Masters Awards, uh, to Josiah, Chiki, the entire panel of judges, as well as the Mansmith team, of course, for this honor, and of course, for the chance to help the, build the future of Filipino marketing talent. A uh, special thank you again also to my PNG family, especially to all the safe guardians out there. Yeah, the safety uh, For the awesome journey that you've had on the brand. Uh, this award wouldn't be possible without all of you. Uh, it's been such an honor and privilege to work for such a, an iconic Filipino brand. Uh, you know, we've brought the brand to new heights, we've made hand washing sexy, and most important of all, we had fun doing it. Uh, to my partner, Raj, to my family and friends, thank you for all the support that you've given me. If there's one thing that, that I'd always like to remind myself, um, my role as a marketer is to connect great products that solve everyday problems to the right consumer. So I always ask myself the question, uh, what consumer problem am I trying to solve today? So that's the lesson that I'd like to leave with everyone here on the call. Again, thank you, everyone, and congratulations to all the other awardees. Thank you. Congratulations, Brian. And guys, that wraps up the awarding ceremonies for the 16th Young Market Masters Awards. It's been such a great and inspiring two days with these 12 rising stars for me. And I hope the same goes for everyone who has joined us these past couple of days. This has been Danny Laurel. Thank you and see you all. And now, guys, to officially close the Young Market Masters Awards and Summit, let's please welcome Man Smith CEO Chiki Escarialgo. Congratulations once again to this year's Mansmith Young Market Masters Awardees. Congratulations, Drew Alianan for Export Marketing, Mark Alvarez for Insighting, Camille Ang for Marketing Management, Cherry Atilano for Advocacy Marketing, Mariel Chavez for Brand Management, Mark Corazo for Digital Marketing, Patet de Guzman for Digital Marketing, Janice De Leon for Service Marketing, Kay Enriquez for Digital Business Building, Kim Lato for Entrepreneurial Marketing, Marvin Tulim for Marketing Management, and Gian Yap for Brand Management. It is a pleasure to witness and be part of your inspiring growth. You have already achieved so much, and we have faith that you will continue to break boundaries and act as inspirations for future Filipino brand builders to do the same. I'd also like to thank our partners for making this event possible. And everyone, we are now taking nominations for the 17th Mansmith Young Market Masters Awards. If you think that you or anyone that you know has what it takes to inspire other young Filipinos to uplift the business community, sit tight for more details to be announced shortly. Once again, 
Thank you for joining us here today and have a great week ahead. Be bold to take risks and try new ways of engaging both brands and consumers. Free your mind from the it has always been done this way mentality and rather explore and innovate. We need to unlearn everything we know or studied about marketing. Gone are the days of best practices. In fact, we need to create new case studies. We also need to unstereotype. We need to make it good for people and make it good for the planet. It's having empathy. We are in a time when consumers are more discerning about what matters and what doesn't. We will only win if we meet the consumer's real needs in a relevant and a superior way. And empathy is key in understanding those needs. They have to be open-minded, humble to learn, believe in the power of Tao, but still visionary, and believe that anything is possible with hard work and perseverance. They should be fast and be able to adapt through listening to their target market's valuable insights being curious means asking the right questions, such as what problems do you want to solve today and how can your brand help? You also need to be strategic. You need to know what activities are truly important to achieve your vision and which activities merely serve as distractions. They need to be data-driven. Having access to data, both quantitative and qualitative, is a gift. The most effective campaigns come from a strong insight based on a deep understanding of the users. In the digital marketing field, almost everything is measurable. So for me, it's important that young marketers learn how to blend both, trusting your gut feel and data, thus informed intuition. It is really about immersing ourselves to what we're advocating, and it's really not only understanding, but comprehensively listening to other people as well on how they can contribute to make our brand better. While failure is inevitable, we must learn to be able to fail fast in order to learn and grow faster. The last trait is grit. Having the perseverance, the passion to be able to see through whatever goal you had set for, despite the challenges and setbacks that come along. The strategies may have changed, but the reason why you are doing this will always be the same. As a young Filipino marketer, I believe it is our duty to bridge the generations of leadership styles, creativity, and channels of communication for the evolving market. Now, agile leadership means quick but calculated, fast in making decisions. A lot of things rely on the decisions that we make on a day-to-day -day basis. Stick to your principles. Be the guiding light that people will follow no matter what. What the world needs now are leaders. You also need to be innovative. Provide services better than your own services every day. Do not market just to sell, but to make a difference in the lives of your consumers and the world eventually. And always remember to be a good marketer with a good heart.